Hey guys, World Editor here. Today we're going to be going over the patch notes for September 15th, 2022. But uh, first off, I just want to say I didn't get to do um, last week's patch notes due to the fact that I was sick. Um, I really wasn't sounding too great and I had a bunch of other things going on in life as well. So I do apologize for missing the tier 19 release patch notes, but I promise you I'm going to try to make it as weekly as possible for these updates. Again, I do apologize. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right back to it. So let's go ahead and check out this post here from Lime. Okay, here it says update 2022-915 by Lime. Taruxian rocks have stopped falling, but Sardinex will stay for one more day to trade you items for them. So that pretty much means those rocks that you guys have been getting uh, for any, I guess, quests like expedition, trials, flags, anything at all, any rocks that you get, uh, you know which ones I'm talking about. They're like kind of glowing a little bit. Um, you guys get to spend them, but you guys can't acquire any more. You have today and I believe maybe tomorrow, I'm not entirely sure, um, to spend those. So try to spend them as quickly as you can. Again, I do recommend getting the Bitgore and Mount Guts before anything else, only because those are kind of hard to farm in my opinion. You can't really farm either of them. <laughs> so those are priority for free to plays in my opinion. Um, let's go ahead and go on to the next part. Congiversary is coming next week. Expect a lot of crazy stuff to celebrate our sixth anniversary. So honestly, you guys really need to save your stuff. I know it's tempting with this new tier out right now, but I really strongly think everyone should save their stuff until next week. I know I'm not going to be pushing this week. I'm not going to be pushing until next week. That's for sure. Okay, let's see here. New PvP and trial events have begun. We'll go ahead and check those out here in a second. I'll dimension Expedition is here, which is pretty awesome. And we have Papo's Invasion coming soon, which is awesome. Um, we do have some set changes. Now, these sets are actually all tier 19 sets, I believe. So I'll go ahead and go over them right now. So Thundercrackers 4 out of 4, which is the set, I believe, from Nordic tier 19, uh, has an expender um, in one of their um, abilities where you pretty much spend 3 SP and then something will happen in the abilities. We'll go ahead and check it out right now. But they bumped it up to Expender 4, so you have to spend 4 SP just to be able to get that uh, bonus for the 4 out of 4. It's a minor nerf. In my opinion, it could make or break it, but the nerf is so minor that it's still going to be good. Like, it's 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 super good right now, but I don't think it's going to go from super good to bad. I think it's going to go from super good to either pretty good or good. So no need to fear. That set is honestly still very, very amazing. Um, we have another change here for McCready. McCready is, I believe, the set from TG, tier 19. So it went from 2 SP to 1 SP, which is the 3 out of 4 ability. Um, I believe it gives SP to a certain teammate or teammates, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'd have to check right now. But um, they're going to be lowering it from 2 SP to 1 SP. I guess it was just too strong. Um, here's another one. Change McCready's Flaming Piercer to Chilling Piercer. Um, reduce its cost from 4 SP to 3 SP. And reduce the amount of targets from 4 to 3. So it looks like McCready's getting 2 hits. McCready was honestly a very strong set. But I still think it's going to be pretty good. I don't think anyone should not get it. I think it's still going to be worth. Now here's a change I'm pretty excited for. Especially because it's something that just about everyone can get very easily. Which is the Road Warriors set. So the two out of four, which is in my opinion, in my opinion, is a very, very strong um, attribute to the set. Gain five percent of your power when you get hit. Two, gain five percent of your power when you get hit and when you hit an enemy. So the reason why I'm excited about this change is because I feel like they are promoting speed baits. This is definitely a speed baity type of build. Um, just seeing that attribute. They already knew that you were going to be building it to where you get hit, of course, because it's a tanky kind of set. But they also put when you hit an enemy. So you could have low HP and a lot of st and a lot of speed, and that could be a build for this set. I'm going to actually be testing it. I'll tell you all how it is. If you want a video on that set, uh, hit me up in the, in the comments or directly and just tell me that you're interested, and I'll probably make a video on that. Now we have another change that's very exciting here for anyone that has the weapon Iscarium. It's saying here, change the auto weightings for sword, shield, and spear of Iscarium. Which means you're not going to be healing 
pointlessly over and over and over again, you'll be able to use the real good abilities that you really want Otto to be proccing. A lot of people that own this weapon, believe it or not, don't use it half the time just because it's not proccing what they want in the proc. In PvP, it's not proccing the ability that is preferred. Um, it's just proccing a bunch of other things like give SP, give SP, give SP, not attack the enemy. So it's um, hopefully adjusted a little better than it was before, and that's because it was already previously adjusted. So I'm pretty sure it should be getting to the spot it should be needing to get to right now, which is great. But yes, an exciting change for that main hand as well. And we have one more here where it says, Fixed an issue where Silverwind 4 out of 4 was providing 10 redirect chance instead of 15. So if you guys were digging that Silverwind set and you were like, man, I'm getting redirected so much, you're about to get even more love if you didn't notice that it was different. So those are going to be the changes. Pretty, pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and go back to the gameplay so I can show you what the drops are for the week. Okay, we're gonna kick it off with PvP, then Expedition, Trials, Fishing, and we'll check out the shop. So with PvP, it seems like it's going to be a team of four. Let's go to the rewards, sorry, yeah, the rewards. The rewards here are going to be Relic Runes, along with all the Fragment types. Go to Expedition. Okay. Go to Rewards. Here it's going to be Radio Flow Regulator Pumps along with other things involving familiars like regulators, brain stems, and micron chippos. Now for trials, make sure we're on the correct one. Okay, go to rewards. And for this week, it's going to be accessory reward chest. It's going to be coming with component cream, critter jelly, and mount guts. Now that's very exciting, but just know that it is a very competitive week four trials. And if I'm not mistaken, actually this is a very recent one, but yeah, see, we already have some big names up here. So just watch out. I don't want y'all to be spending too much here hoping to get that because look, it's still the first 24 hours and we already have someone at 4 million points. So keep an eye out for that. If you want to be comp, just know that it's going to be very, very hard to place top in the next few weeks due to the fact that it is a new tier. Let's go over to fishing. Last but not least, of course, let's go to the events, rewards, and we're going to be getting stat points along with some component cream, seashells, and gems. Let's go ahead and finish it off with the shop. Okay, so right now it's showing that we're going to have the epic neuron stimulator augment box which is honestly something i always recommend you all avoid um this one's good but the problem is there's no real great reward like if they threw a legendary brain in here i would think this is awesome to get because it's always important to get stems in my opinion brain stems are one of the most important material to like acquire due to the fact that brains pretty much make or break your team sometime so it could be a good box to grab if you have extra gems lying around but most of the time we don't so I don't recommend this at all, but if you guys really need those stems to make that mythic um, mythic brain, then go for it. We have the XXL pack this week, which of all of you all know, this is pretty much the XL pack, but with two extra of each. And I love this pack. Um, I think it's a great value. I wish the XXL pack was the pack that we got every week. I wish they did away with the XL pack, but that's just me. So let's go and go down to the other things. We still have these adventure bags, which I showed you guys last time. Here's the event pack, which is going to be ticket rolls, duffels, and uh, badges, along with a bite gore. Event pack is really nice. I like pairing it with other things to get, but right now there really isn't anything too great. Uh, the adventure, or the, sorry, the legendary adventure bag, uh, just to go back to it real quick, in my opinion, is missing a boost. This is a pack we used to have, I believe. I'm not sure if it's any different, but it used to come with a bite gore for the same price. So I do not know why they have this pack here. It is a worse pack than we used to have. Unless there's something I'm not seeing. I don't remember if um, Zeals or Shards were in this pack for the $50 pack we had before. But if it was, then we are kind of getting gypped a little bit. Um, even if this came with the Super Scroll, I'm pretty sure people would be happy. But yeah, there's no um, boost here. So that's the only reason why I'm a little iffy on that. It's not bad if you just need the resources and you have plenty of boost, but... I'm not too big a fan on that one. The other ones I don't like at all, to be honest. They're okay. Uh, the material pack, in my opinion, should be $5. I think $10 is overpriced, and even then, I would not pay $5 for this. I recommend avoiding this. Um, let's go ahead and check out the Weekly Gem Orb. The Weekly Gem Orb is always a good snag. It's um, pretty much 
what you're going to want to want to get for what you pay for. Uh, gems are useful all around. Go ahead and check out the large lucky boost box. So we don't have any of those fancy new cores here, which is very sad. I was hoping we'd see them a little more often, but um, it's unfortunate they got taken out. This is uh, an okay grab. I don't really recommend it anymore. I would only do this if you really like to gamble for stuff and hope to get something good. And then right now we have Mega Defense Pet Eggs. So yeah, see if there's any new cosmetic bundle. Nothing new. Let's check other. Nothing new here. Yeah, that's pretty much going to be wrapping it up for the patch notes. If you guys have anything that I missed that you know about, please leave it in the comments below. I normally don't like asking for this, but I am trying to reach a larger audience to help more people out. If you guys could just please subscribe, that would be great. Um, I'm trying to see if I can do daily content again now that I'm feeling better, but at the very least, I'll be definitely doing weekly content, and I'm trying to aim at a minimum of at least three videos a week. I have plenty of videos uh, ready to be recorded. I'm pretty ready to go with all of these ideas. So keep an eye out. If you guys don't want to miss anything, hit that notification bell. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. This was World Leader. Have a great one, guys. Peace.